Hello there and welcome. I'm Marcel. This is Sean. Uh, he's my yoga co-teacher at Dragon. And whenever you feel tired or think it's going to get hard, just look at him and he will give you the power that you need. And yeah, that's my cat. Um, Bushili, probably you will see her one day. But for now, let's keep her out of the door. And yeah. Uh, one more thing to say. I will uh, stream, that means um, uh, record the thing live on Twitch for a whole year and you can um, come to this uh, stream and experience uh, from 7 to 7.30 Central European time um, these yoga lessons. So I will be there for you from 7 to 7.30 CET uh, each day in this year. And this will be a great, great pleasure and great, great challenge for me. And I hope you, you will also be there. And the whole thing is for you. Yeah. For that, um, let's check in with the body, right? Let's start. So, first of all, if you're sitting in a chair, that's that's completely fine. If you're if you like to join in the fun on the body uh, on the floor, the floor. Uh, please sit up on something. Maybe uh, two two books or three books, and sit on them. So we will be sitting for a minute or two, uh, a little bit longer, like maybe five minutes. And then, then we'll stand up and do something else. Yeah. So find a good sit. Every every time you feel uncomfortable, you're you're free to change it. Feel free to change it. So sit up, imagine a rope is connected to your head and the rope is pulling you up and so enlarge your spine and so lengthen your spine, not enlarge, and <laughs> lengthen your spine. In 2020 get long and breathe deep. Take your right hand and put it on the belly so you can feel your breathing. Try to breathe into the belly first. And breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe out. And put your left hand and put it on your breast area. And first breathe into your belly, then breathe in to your breast area. And let go. Breathe in again. First to the belly, then to the breast area. And you repeat this a few more times. Mm. 
I can if you are still lengthen if your spider still lengthened as before or correct it a little and lengthen it yourself again make your breath as deep as you can and then release come back to your natural breath Open your eyes and stretch the sides a little. So bend to one side, lift the right arm up or the left as, you, as you're doing it. Breathe in here and come to the middle and change to the left and breathe in here again. Breathe out, breathe in. In your own rhythm, so if you're breathing faster, just go faster. If you're breathing slower, just go slower. From that, reconnect to the length of your spine one more time and breathe deeply. First into your belly, then into your breast area. this new year with some big big breath breaths <laughs> and from this we're going to in, into four feet so if you're sitting on a chair you might want to come to uh, to the floor now and that just shift forward put your hands on the floor hands on the floor Good. so your shoulders are over your wrists and the hips are over the knees from this position we are going to do a it's called cat cow and first you want to breathe out so take a breath in and breathe out round from the lower back a lower vertebra to the upper vertebra and breathe in round the other way around down the whole spine and again up breathe in uh, and breathe out So the lower back upwards, each vertebra, and then from the upper back up, downwards. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. get a little bit funky with it so you can shift your hips from side to side shift it back forward even whole the whole way back to um, child's pose and take some deep breaths here Up 
up again and really get a little bit funky feel where you can go in this pose you can do nothing wrong you just experience it yourself do what feels good for yourself at this point can even go completely forward and come kind of upward facing dog check yourself also back again <laughs> and from here we're going to relax the, the wrists a little bit so you can turn your wrist around and put it on the floor really gently and draw maybe a little bit back with your whole body as it, just if it feels good for you maybe even put it sideways just to relax the wrists a little so I just felt I need some some risks wrist action and I thought uh, I would love to share that with you so you can integrate it in your practice of course learning here a lot and just move as you like Come to neutral and from here just take a deep breath in and then we stand up really mindfully in your own time in your own style so you don't need to look at me stand up into 2020 together really mindfully close your eyes bring your hands to the sky put them together and bring them in front of your heart. Feel how your body is feeling. Then release the hands, open the eyes again. going to do next is we jump a little oh, just move it up again a little bit this is too much well, it's hard this is hard <laughs> so we are jumping a little so go back on your mat or on the floor this was pretty dump jumping 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 If, you, if that's too hard for you, you can just whip, or even the people that are jumping, you can just whip a little, just raise the heels, put them back on the floor, and then you can also just go more into your knees, or you can enlarge the whole thing, really jump high and fast. As you like, it's up to you. What feels good is good. What feels good is good for you. Okay. And we do this for one minute. If, if it starts to hurt, you can just stand and be really airy. Like uh, long. Again, like imagining something is pulling up on your, on your head. Get a long straight spine. And up tall in this 2020. And then release, shake out the legs a little bit. Good. Then we're going to take our shoulders 
Move them forward, upward and back. Forward, upward and back in your own rhythm. Switch the movement backwards, upward and forward, backwards, upward and forward, backwards, upward, forward, down. Exactly. Go slowly. Slowly, mindfully, and release. Shake a little bit your hands. Take a deep breath in. Release. Now we mentioned this is my favorite um, exercise. Um, imagine you have two towels. Instead of hands, you have two towels, and they don't have muscles. And we want to turn from the belly buttons to the side. So, so like this. And the towels just swing along. And we want to go with the belly to the left and to the right. And left, right. And our head we fixate in the middle. So we just look forward. And the hands or the towels. <laughs> okay, let's say the wrists are hitting the hips. Like, uh, like uh, not really uh, hurting the hips, but kind of like massaging the hips. And that's why it's my favorite exercises. It, it helps my shoulders, my wrists, and gives me additionally a massage in the lower back and in the hips. And that's why I love this exercise so much that I'm doing it almost all of my classes. And it also opens up the vertebra a little bit more. And again, the whole moving of the arms is coming from, from the belly. Not from the knees, so you don't, you're not doing like this with the whole foot. Over exaggerating with the knees here. You want to keep the knee, knee stable and go from the hips, uh, from the <laughs> belly. Yeah. Then slowly, slowly make the movement smaller. Make the movement smaller, maybe close your eyes. Still let the movements go a little bit. And then smaller, smaller, smaller. And come slowly, slowly to a rest. Maybe still feel some impulses that are drawing us into the center of our, our body. And take a deep breath in here. One more deep breath in, raise your hands up. Put them together. Have your eyes closed. Put put the uh, hands in front of your heart. Take them in front of your heart. Take one more deep breath in here. And release the hands. Come to the front of your mat. Or if you don't have a mat, just uh, look that you have maybe two steps behind you, uh, it's free area, so that we can work with. <laughs> Good. So from here we're going to do New Year salutations and we go straight ahead. New Year is only one day a year, so we don't have any time to lose. Breathe in. Breathe out, bend slowly forward. Breathe in, rise halfway. You can put the hands on your thighs. 
breathe out slowly come down again place your hands on the floor then step the right foot back the left foot back and shift your hips up slowly this is called downward facing dog we rest here for one breath cycle as you're breathing out come forward to plank pose here put your knees down the first cycle now and slowly go down to chaturanga like release the hips down and come to the floor come to the floor here put the hands next to your breast area and think pushing pulling uh, pushing yourself forward and up the feet are pressing into the ground knees are pressing into the ground and now think forward and up and maybe just a little bit rise yourself a little bit up so i can see you i come a little bit higher now good but you can just do this further down that's that's better in the first cycles so come shift yourself back to the knees then up to downward facing dog a quan deep breath in here hips are in the sky look forward to your hands and slowly step forward bend yourself forward grab your elbows here and rest awesome job you guys you're doing great we're doing some few uh, cycles numerous salutations today so let's enjoy this little break here and maybe wiggle it side to side from the hips with the arms and then release this take a deep breath in put your hands to your hips elbows pointing upward come more into your knees and raise up with a straight back <coughs> i just received a beautiful hair in my <laughs> mouth <laughs> thank you for that so take a deep breath in extend your arms into the sky and Bring your arms forward, close your eyes, breathe out. Just check in with your body. How does your body feel now? And release your arms again. Step forward to the front of your mat and breathe in deeply. Breathe out. Slowly cut bow down forward breathe in raise up halfway again check here that you have a straight back and you can go up here or maybe check if you can go down there or even further down i can't go any further so as to stay at my level right one more time deep breath in and then breathe out come down place your hands on the floor Shift the right leg back and the left leg. Shift your hips back and up. And we stay here for three breaths this time. So next breath in, lengthen from the hands to your hips. You can bend also the knees a little bit here if that makes it easier for you. And then breathing out the third cycle come forward to plank pose let your knees go down to the floor or let them up as you prefer come down chaturanga like position then this means yeah explain what this this means uh, 90 degrees with your elbow when you're there 90 degree, degrees with your elbow you can release the hips down to the floor and then again do the upward facing dog again by pressing everything to the floor the feet the knees and then think forward and up if you find that 
Shift back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Then look forward to your hands. And, and when you breathe out, step forward. Grab your elbows here again. And enjoy. Make this enjoyable for you. This means either bend your knees or don't bend them. Look at what's most enjoyable for you. And then release the arms. Take a deep breath in. Put your hands on the hips. Elbows pointing upward. And raise up. Take your hands, put them up to the sky. Take a deep breath in. Put them in front of your heart. Breathe out. See what's going on into your in your body now. Take a deep breath in again. Rise your hands up into the sky. Deep breath out. Fall down forward. Bend forward. Take a deep breath in. Come up halfway. Breathe out. Let yourself fall forward. Put your hands on the floor. Stop with the left leg back then the right leg. Shoot yourself back, hips up into the sky. And we go for four breath cycles. Think your heart is lengthening to your hands when you breathe in. One more breath here. And slowly shift forwards to plank pos position from here. Either leave the knees up or down and then slowly come down. Release the hips. Then think again forward and up. You can go, go li as little as this. You need to come from much up. Release again, shift yourself back to downward facing dog. Bend your knees as much as you like. One more breath in and then either walk or jump forward. Release the body, grab your elbows again. Take a deep breath. Release the hands, put the hands on the hips, elbows pointing upward. Come more into your knees and stand up slowly. Take a deep breath in. Put the hands together and put it in front of your heart. How does this 1st of January feel to you? Take a deep breath in here. Rise your hands to the sky. One last time, one last new year salutation. So do it full power <laughs> and mindfulness. Put down forward. Breathe in, rise up halfway. Breathe out. Let go, put your hands on the floor, step the left leg back and the right leg back. Shift your hips up, come into the downward facing dog. Shift forward until you're in plank position. And then go down, slowly 
release the hips come down completely engage your toes your knees when you're ready think forward and up and then release again shift yourself back to downward facing dog your own time and we stay for five cycles here because we can and you're doing a good job good job you guys last breath cycle and you're breathing out step forward slowly release knees a little bit grab the elbows and take some deep breaths here your hands on your hips elbows pointing upward come more into your knees and rise up straight back. take your hands deep breath in rise them up into the sky put them in front of your heart and feel how your body feels now Reconnect with your breath here. And release the hands. From here. For 2020 I think we can also plant, plant some trees here now. Um, I'd love to do that with you. So let's go ahead. So first we just shift our, our weight a little bit to the right and to the front, to the left side and to the backward side, right side, to the front, left, backward. You can do it in your own tempo, faster or slower, you don't want to fall. So we have some good roots that hold our tree, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see <laughs> good and then we switched the side so we go left forward right backward left forward right with two feet at the moment and slowly come to middle bring make the movement smaller come to middle from here we shift all, our, all of our weight to one leg, so we can lift the, one, the other leg, but go slowly, move the other leg slowly, slowly towards the left leg, up the, up the leg. You can either place the, the foot on the lower leg or the upper leg, not in between, so lower leg or upper leg, good, not on the knee. And from here we rise our hands to the sky and we planted successfully a tree. Breathe in deeply here, breathe out and let go again. Awesome. Let's do the same on the other side. Slowly bring in the other foot, go up the lower leg. As stable, either the lower leg or the upper leg. Then rise your hands into the sky and breathe in deeply. Oh, and release again. Slowly, slowly releasing. Awesome. Now we get mindfully on the floor, so come down slowly and 
go towards a wall if you have one. And if you don't have one, it shouldn't be the case, but if you don't have one, just lie on your back and put your head, uh, legs into the sky. Otherwise, go to the wall and do the same. Just rest the legs on the wall. You can see me. Good. And from there, for this is variant one, if that's, that's okay for you, then we can do one step more. Important here, you leave the head where it is, so you look straight up to the sky. Then you lift the hips up, lifting hips up through the wall, putting the elbows into the floor, leaving the head where, where, where it is, looking straight up, and holding your hips, so elbows into the floor, holding your hips. You can either go away from the wall or leave it on the wall. Leaving on the wall is better because you can't hurt yourself as much. So just look straight up to the sky and nothing will happen. Then breathe in deeply here. And really slowly, and slowly down again. Now this is called an inversion. Um, it brings all the blood that is stuck in uh, our toes down and lets the blood get reoxygenated. Re yeah, something like this. Uh, I don't know if the word is right. Reoxygenated. Re yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Now we're finishing up with uh, Shavasana. This is called corpse pose in English. And we just lay back on our back, right? And toes are pointing outwards, hand, hands are pointing upward to the sky, and we lay back. You can stay in this for five minutes. Uh, we will stay approximately five minutes. I will get you out of this pose. And in the meanwhile, I will sit and you can rest. And you can just be in this. It's, it's for you. Just rest in this pose. You can close your eyes. And I will get you out of that.
slowly deepen your breath come back to your body and start moving your fingers moving your toes leaving your eyes closed moving a little bit more of your body coming back fully to your body when you're ready pick up your knees and draw them towards your body and then either fall on the left or the right side you decide and come and lay lay on one side of your body release all the muscles one more time release the hands even the tongue all the muscles feel the gravity that is carrying your body feel grounded and one deep breath in here let it go and when you're ready pull yourself up into a final sitting pose in your own time Take your hands, put them your tour, towards your heart. And with that, I wish you a very wonderful day. And feel a little bit the impact that this beautiful yoga les lesson, your beautiful time that you invested, has on your day. With these words. And close the class. Have a wonderful day.